Happy Easter, everyone. A phrase that's been used in sermons, songs and all sorts of other things is the phrase, it's Friday, but Sunday's coming. On this Easter day, we're ce celebrating Sunday having come, but of the nation and a world, we're still there on Friday. We're waiting for things to change, waiting for these times to pass, waiting for Sunday to come. We're celebrating Jesus' resurrection, celebrating the joyful moment. But we can't be together in church to do it. We couldn't share with school assemblies or with Tuesdays together in the build-up either. We can't be as one. So is the Easter message a little out of chime with where we all are right now? Is it unhelpful in these times? You're not going to be too shocked if I say no. But let me explain a little more. Easter Day is not and never has been the end of the story. Easter was not the moment when all the painful things stopped happening. After Easter Day, those who would follow Jesus went on to suffer, to face their own death, in some cases, even if church tradition is to be believed on a cross. The challenges and struggles went on. But they did so in the knowledge that Jesus had faced the ultimate action of death and had shown a way through, a life beyond, a path the other side. This is Easter Sunday. But we don't need to press pause and wait for Easter. We're there now because Easter doesn't mean everything is all good suddenly, but that there is a path the other side. Whatever our struggles are in these times, perhaps they're related to coronavirus in some way, either through knowing someone affected, or just through the effect of lockdown on us and those close to us. Perhaps they are problems that we're all already facing, maybe made harder in these times, but they're all along. Whatever they are, the Easter story reminds us that there is more to this story than what we face now. 